G'day, this is BLX Ed and welcome back to Buzz Aldrin's Space Program Manager. So I've been tinkering around, tinkering around, I took all my people off training and I decided that we're actually not going to launch it just yet. We are going to take this opportunity to test it in low Earth orbit. So we've still got quite a few things that are, you know, 88%, 86%, 89 and 79 so we've still got a few components that are actually quite low down. Yep, I know that. So we are going to take this opportunity to test the um, equipment in orbit. And if it works, we'll gain an additional boost to reliability and we'll be able to head off to the moon. The fact is, I've simply killed too many astronauts to reliably you know, man, staff my, crew my missions after all this. So... I can't afford to lose these last couple. Well, I can't afford to risk them anyway. I could, you know, if I lose them, then I'll, I'll make do. But uh, we'll get over it. In the meantime, I've also got quite a few people left. I wonder if. I wonder if. So this probe, I've, I've, I've done so much research, I've actually got a 75% chance just on this probe. I wonder if I can use my remaining people to just give it a shot. Just try for it, see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll, I'll fail and lose a tiny little bit of prestige. It's time to get that B team working. We'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. That's part of the fun of this game. You just take a risk and you, you hope for the best. And uh, yeah, so research on this suit has finally got it above 80%. So it's bring, brought us up to 91% average. Alrighty, let's begin our test. We're using a smaller rocket for this one. We don't need the Saturn V just for an Earth, ta uh, Earth launch. Nine. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four, three, two, one, zero. So the purpose of this mission will be to basically, um, it's the world. Basically, just just check the, uh, the equipment actually works. We'll be testing the Langley Light Lander, putting the uh, what are they called? The spacesuits through their through their paces up in Earth orbit. If something does go wrong, we could probably maybe rescue them in time so we've got that boost to reliability whereas if we were to go straight to the moon with this untested equipment we'd have a much lower chance you can see here using this equipment we've dropped down in our reliability the Langley lander itself is actually not too bad but the suit is dragging it down G'day, Kigal. We have GM solid. You're looking good on the ground. Go ahead and... Testing this mod. I don't know if you guys saw that steam pop up. I'll have to put it on busy next time. Looks like everything's working over here. Yeah, it's time to deorbit. And of course our Gemini is very reliable so we've jumped right up here we've done this a hundred times before or a dozen times before there we go all done so we got a bit of prestige I mean it at this point of the game, it really means nothing. But we know the equipment works. That's the important part. We've also done a crew transfer. I hadn't thought about that. We've managed to transfer a crew member from the Gemini capsule to the Langley Light Lander and back again. So we've got three badges for that. Uh, the EOR and the Lang Lander are both up. 
and far more reliable now. And I suppose for what it's worth, our commanders have upgraded as well. We're now going to check our sun probe. Now this is going to be the first, you can see here, this is actually the first of several multi-season missions. So what we're going to do here is we actually launch this up, it'll get to number 7, and then it'll continue off and we'll come back to it in the next couple of turns and gradually watch it circling in towards the sun, monitoring the magnetic field. Once again, the Saturn V is probably a bit of overkill for this particular launch, but we've got it developed. There's really no point in, in developing, devoting time to developing a new rocket. And so we've got a much, much lower chance here. This probe we've basically just thrown together. No one's worked on it. No one's tried to design it. We've got the money, we'll burn it. And it's obviously not working very well. But they've held it together. It's essentially a tin can with a couple of things put on it. But let's see, you go one, one out of six seasons. So for the next year and a half, it's just going to keep rotating around the sun. And we're going to just follow it. Hopefully we don't lose control of it in the meantime. Alrighty, well things are working out so far. We are now going to check the... This is a better rocket here, 98.9, 99.9. Saturn V is a better rocket to use, but... You know what, money means nothing to me right now. 7,000, yeah, we'll take the more reliable rocket. It's a bigger rocket, it's a waste of mass, but it's far more reliable. So this particular one, we're going to be using every component. We're going to be using the space tug to push it up to a, like a very highly elliptical orbit. So this circle here, pretend this circle is the Earth. What we've just done is we've shot it up and we've done a test in the Earth orbit around here. What we're going to be doing now is actually using the space tug to push it up in a much higher elliptical orbit and testing it um, further out and then we'll be able to test it for a heat shield test as we approach it at a much higher speed and bring it into the Earth's atmosphere. So putting a much higher stress test. Again everything is pretty good. The light lander is above 90%. The spacesuit is pretty good actually. Yeah. Oh, I have three astronauts. Why not? Ah, of course. Um, bit of a risk here, but you, Stephen Lewis, you are going to go... and check out this test mission. Now I am going to put you up there, and I'm going to put my two crappy guys in here. I mean, they're just recruits, they've gone through a basic induction. If they manage to pilot it, they might go to the moon. In the meantime... EOR is pretty good. The Langley Light Lander is only going to go at 0.8. Not worth it. 
That'll go up. Yeah, I'll take you off as well. You guys are the best at it. And we'll work on the probes now. We've got a 98 here. We've got a 96. We've got a 95 and a 94. So you guys can work on the Pioneer, the Venus probe. The Viking Orbiter and that one. I'm actually going to need to train these people up. You can do space probes to 90 before I talk to you again. 90. go. Uh, I won't bother about giving you guys jobs. Again, if you are playing this game properly, it's not good to leave leave anyone without either training or a job, simply because they will lose morale over time, and when they get low enough, they'll leave your agency. Right now, it's far enough in. I've already won the game, so it really doesn't bother me too much if they do leave, and a couple of turns is not going to bother them too much. So we've nearly got the Apollo Lunar Rover, and the space tug is going well. Meanwhile, the Pioneer, 15.5% in one go, that's pretty good. So the Sun Probe, we are going to resume the mission, and we're going to monitor it in case we need to send a person. Again, this is the single check to make sure we haven't lost control of the thing. Again, very few prestige points. The main thing is the actual mission when it gets there, when it completes it. But we do get a big boost. And we've had to actually put no R&D onto this thing. Alrighty. So we're not doing anything new for this one. We're actually just testing the same equipment in a different fashion. So the amount of prestige we're going to get is quite small compared to the actual pay off the failure, pay off the, the, fa the benefit, the cost benefit ratio is actually quite low and there are considerable number of steps here because we have two separate launches so quite a big mission this one Again, using our Saturn V here, simply because it's it's the best rocket we've ever developed. It'll lift anything we need to put into space. It'll take it anywhere we need to go. And with a reliability of 99.9, .9, uh, nothing else will get even close to that. These second launches they actually tended to be done 90 minutes later. So a typical low Earth orbit will be completed in 90 minutes. So if you launch the second rocket 90 minutes later, you've actually given the first one time to go right round, come round, and launch up and, and actually capture, uh, sort of go at the same time. So it'll be roughly in the same area. And then from there, you can generally 
uh, dock them a whole lot easier. It's a surprisingly low success rate here. Okay, medium Earth orbit. Again, this is very low. This is not good. Mostly because of these two. Our two, our commander and pilot, uh, don't really have the skills to pilot these pieces of equipment. But it looks like they've managed to do it. They don't kill themselves. So what we've normally got a 98% success chance, we're down to about 91 here. It's because of the commander and pilot. It does look like they've made it. Done. One minor mishap, but they did manage to fix that in time. So no one died. And we're all here. Good 4% upgrade on that. There you go, Langley Light Lander up. Where's the spacesuit? There we go, yep, they've all been upgraded. That's good to hear. And our pilots themselves have upgraded as well, quite a considerable amount. Looks like the Russians are really focusing on Mars. Oh wow, it's our third president we've been through. We are, yeah, we're very close to the moon. We've almost done it three times. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, avoid Watergate. Now, we've done all that test in orbit now. What do we need for that? We need a... So now we need to test the equipment again. This time we're going to do it in lunar orbit. Oh, I like this rocket. We'll use that one. So you can actually get away with a much smaller rocket for this particular mission. But for launching our people, we'll go for the most reliable one. Okay, get our best people except for Sebastian Oberdorfer. Ah, Luke Hatch has taken over as our 2IC, as our AI, uh, assistant flight controller, flight director here. It is very interesting. Old Mary Brooks, no longer in it. And our, what are we testing? What are we r and We were doing the, I believe it was Venus. Yeah, our Venus probe. Uh, still got a long way to go. Long, long way to go. So... Uh, 
I will leave these 16 guys behind. Yeah, it's getting there. Alrighty, let's put our sun probe through again. You can see now the success chance has gone right up. Having a bit of experience with the architecture of this vehicle, they've managed to, I guess, get better at keeping the thing online. Tiny bit of prestige, but when it finally completes it, we will get a, a significant chunk. Okay, time to launch this, launch this mission. But it is getting 21 minutes now for this episode, so join me next time as we test our all our Langley Light Lander and our EOR equipment in Earth uh, in Moon orbit, lunar orbit. So I've been BLXZ. This has been Buzz Aldrin, Space Program Manager. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time. Take care.